Christmas, Happy New Year, hope your New Year has gone very well. It's been an amazing start um, for me. I really had fun with my Xmas, I spent it with my family and even with the New Year. So I have a lot of new products out to review and I'll be sharing them with you. The first thing is I hope you're ready for the 2019 um, skincare challenges. I will have a couple of skincare challenges. The first one that I challenged myself to do was to try a facial oil. So I went in for the ordinary and is the 100% plant derived hemiscolin. And this is the one fluid ounce bottle, just 30 um, ml and is supposed to be used within six months. So this is the first bottle of um, product I've seen that is supposed to be used within six months from the ordinary, most of them 12 months. So, and I know it's because of the oils, um, the shelf life of oils are a bit different. So that is understandable. Now this one, you just um, apply it through damp, clean hair daily or as needed and then for skin you apply a few drops to the entire face once daily or as needed so this is a hair oil and this is a facial oil now let me start with the skin first before i talk about hair with my skin i have mostly relied on light moisturizers for my skin and my skin has been doing fairly well ever since i paid attention to what i was taking in I've really limited a lot of things I do eat everything but I, because of my weight loss and everything I realized that my skin is also benefiting from cutting out certain um, things at the time of the day for example if I'm going to eat anything very heavy I'd rather eat it early in the day than late so I realized that my skin has had a lot of changes over the past four weeks since I went to my mom's place I decided to just switch up my diet and focus on things and when I came back home I continue with it and my skin has been amazing see so I use this oil as my facial oil I cleanse tone use the hyaluronate and I fluff with either niacinamide or vitamin C serum and then I use the facial oil and then sunscreen if I'm going out the first thing I notice about the bottle is it has <laughs> this color is not um, I would say this is opaque right it's not like translucent like the other ordinary bottles um, where the niacinamide and others is plain able to see the product this is a bit dark and of course for to prevent the sunlight from damaging the oil so it comes in the bottle like this with a dropper which I love because then you're able to gauge the quantity you see. Now it's also very, very light in consistency. This is one of the lightest oils I've ever used. And it's so light that I have to be careful when I, I put it in my palm so it doesn't run off. See, it's already going off. So I just use it and I realize that it is gone. It doesn't leave any residue, nothing. It's so smooth, feels so light, and I love that. So that's the first thing. The feel is amazing. It's not like the scrolling. Um, a lot of people have said the scrolling is a bit thicker, but it's extremely light. The consistency is just good for the skin. So if you have any issue with your skin, I think this oil will be very good. Except for those with dry skin, this might be a bit too light. For your skin but if you have normal to acne prone skin this hemiscolin should do for you now the other thing i'll talk about is the smell is scentless and as with the ordinary products you don't smell anything so for those who don't like strong scents is not going to affect you in any way the smell is absolutely zero so you don't smell anything third one it doesn't block or clog the pores 
um, it's very light oil, so I don't expect it to even do that. It's very, very light and it absorbs quickly, like seconds, less than 30 seconds. My skin will feel like I've applied nothing. And that is the reason why I love it. I think with my ratings, I'll give this nine out of 10. And the reason is, of course, it's very runny. Sometimes I lose some in the, in the process of pouring it. Okay. I don't know how that is going to work out, but aside that, I think I like the texture, I like the consistency, I love the um, the feel of it on my skin. The packaging is sleek. I don't know how it's going to work with the runny texture, even though it's the dropper, it's a bit difficult when you want to control it, so you have to probably squeeze your palm like this when you are pouring it. To contain it so for my skin this is one of the best products i've used on my skin i've been using it throughout um the whole of this january every single day okay every single day and then i use my other moisturizers in the night so my skin has been pretty good and because i use this almost every day i'm able to tell how my skin is reacting and how my skin is responding it's very very hydrated it looks fresh salt and all that but then i think that the craniactive retinol is also doing very well on my skin so on the whole i think i began the year on a very good note with those two products <laughs> now for hair this is one of the lightest oils you can use for your hair so i would recommend this for those with thin light hair because it will not stick or sit on your skin or your hair when you apply it on your scalp, it's very, very light, um, even lighter than emo oil. Okay, emo oil is a bit thicker for me, like almost the consistency consistency is like melted shea butter. When it comes to emo oil, this is extremely light. So for those with scalp issues, dry scalp and all of that, this will not block the pores, it will not clog your pores. It's so light that I'll take this oil over Jamaican black castor oil, emo oil, or other oils when it comes to scalp. I mean, if there's another light oil like this, please drop it in the comment box because this is perfect for scalp. In terms of hair itself, my hair is relaxed. As you can see, it's relaxed. I slicked it down with Eco Styler Gel. Bam. <laughs> and I find it to be very, 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 very light enough for my hair. My hair is light when it's um, relaxed and the lighter the oil, the better it is for my hair. That is what I've realized. My hair doesn't like Jamaican black castor oil, shea butter and all those things, except when it's hammer time, then I use it. But all year round, I tend to go for light oils and like cocoa oil um, with argan oil, those light oils. So I find this to be very, very light for my hair and a lot of ladies in the um the cm group uh also talk about the fact that it's very light for their hair they don't feel anything weighing down their hair so if you're looking for something light for your hair the hemi scrolling oil is good and i like the fact that they also um, indicated that it's for clean hair um because if your hair is clean then the products can get into the the hair and i like that they indicated it that it's for hair sometimes it's difficult for people to switch from skincare products to hair care products like using the same product for hair and skin it's hard to convince people to try that um for some reasons people tend to see hair differently when it comes to products but i i tend to have that crossover if some products can work for my skin they can equally work for my hair and one of the things i've tried on my hair is even the hyaluronic acid to hydrate my hair and as my hair is getting longer i'm going to try them more on my hair experiment with them more just for you to see so the hemi scrolling oil is very good with for hair and skin as i said i would rate it 9 out of 10 um, the only difference is because it's very runny i don't know how i'm going to control that but for my hair it's good and i will not use this as a pre-put treatment it's just too pricey for that i use it as a final step in my hair and i just put a few drops in it and then i just rub it down let's lick it down let's lick it down all right so ladies that's my review of the hemi scrolling oil I'll be reading out the ingredient list very soon for you so we see what it has and then we'll look at what this hemi is all about and it says 
this is how the molecular weight of the original 100% plant derived scrolling and it makes it incredibly light and dry to touch while offering the same non clogging non comedogenic emollients and moisturizing capacity right making this formula suitable for all skin types and hair types and it helps to reduce the ongoing loss of hydration that reduces dermal elasticity like uh, the suppleness suppleness of our skin and it's 100 percent pure colorless non-greasy and comes from 100 percent sustainable sugar cane so the source is sugar cane instead of the shark oil that um google says most scalding oil comes from and this comes from sugar cane so it's quite good for those who are into um the animal testing non-animal testing products this is going to be very helpful so that's what um the site says about the uh, hemiscrolling oil okay and i mean i was quite excited and as you can see it's been very light and my skin hasn't had any breakout in the past four weeks okay i had one popping out um, but it's even gone as a result of being stressed but my skin is doing well so that is the review about the hemiscolin oil i had wanted to try the borage seed oil i would but for now i want to test their chia seed oil so there'll be other oils i'll be trying from the ordinary and let me know if you've used any of these oils comment below don't forget to subscribe if you've not stay blessed nothing less bye bye